Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another great edition of my Guru Room Show. And for the Guru Room Show today, we've got a very special guest, and he's an actor, and he stars in an uh, Italian teen drama series on Netflix called Diaries. And I'm talking about B- Biagio Vendita. I am Rocco Cross. I am the host that stutters, as you could tell. I am the host of the Guru Room, and my interview will be coming up very soon. This is my Guru Room, and welcome to my nightmare. So stay tuned, everybody. This is going to be a fun one. Okay, um, welcome, welcome to Guru, and thanks so so much for taking time out of your night and coming on the show. Hi. Hi. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Um, all the, um, all the this. Thanks. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the first thing I wanted to ask you is, is why did why did you want to start getting in, in, involved with wanting with wanting to act? Okay. Um. So. I started acting um, when I was a child, when my parents noticed it, uh, noticed that I had a talent, can I say? And when when I was um, a child, I used to use a camera and uh, yeah. talk uh, in front of in front of it uh, very spontaneously, you know, and I was. A lot of fun. So, and I enrolled uh, in an agency, and slowly started uh, to increase my my resume. So, um, this. Wow. Okay. Nice. Nice. And Thanks. you're 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 part of a really huge television series now, Diaries. And how did you wind up getting getting cast for it, for it? Uh, through my agency, which is the um, Planet Film, the name, and they always believed in me, and uh, I was next by beginning. So I thank I thank um, them a lot. And after many auditions for Diaries, uh, I got the role uh, for Daniele, and uh, I was very happy. Yes. Nice, nice, and. Can you you tell us like for for anyone who hasn't seen seen the show yet? Can you tell us a little bit about what the show is and about the person you play? Mm, so of Daniele or yeah. So uh, one second, I I can't understand <laughs> the the question very. Oh yeah. Um. J- can can. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about the per- the person you play on on Diaries? Okay. Uh, only Daniele is um, uh, a good boy, a simple boy, you know, uh, very um, um, very sweety and. Yes. Mm, usually he wants to help all the friends and they are more important than himself you know and it's a good person classic good boy and uh, has always been a good boy I think so but we we in future mm, we will know that he has uh, some something that to show to the yeah. other person so, so will be um, very important for for him all this story and no spoiler <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well i i i watched the show and dan Daniela is someone I really like on the show because like 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 you were saying he's 
a very nice person. He's always he's always looking out for his friends and and help helping helping his friends out. And yeah, like you, your character is the character I I like on the show because he's he Thanks. is he's, he's really nice. He's sweet. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, <like that. laughs> and how did how did you feel like when Dan 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 Yella was actually finally able to be free and come come out to his to his friends? Sorry, the audio is not working. <laughs> I I can understand the question very good yeah yeah yeah, that's fine that's fine um it's all right like how did how did you feel when 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 he was able to actually tell his his uh, friends that he likes another boy that he's he's able to finally be be free and not hide anymore so um, for me, it was very important and admirable, admirable. I, I can, I don't know, but uh, as an example for many young people, you know, um, I love the spontaneity um, of the coming out mm-hmm. and a little less easy to in- interpret, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it was fantastic yeah nice nice and was there any scenes that you you love filming the most uh yeah there are so many <laughs> uh, one of my favorites uh is uh one scene of episode uh, eight and i can describe it you know uh, daniele is uh, in his room mm-hmm. and it's afternoon and in the afternoon has a, an appointment uh, and before going to school uh, show us uh, all his joy so yeah. eu- euphoria and energy and he prepares uh, himself uh, and he does uh, summer souls uh, in the bed and he even talks to the mirror and he was very happy finally, and is uh, is um, I cannot say it's problems uh, in his mind was gone was gone, and no. I was very happy with him because you know it's a very very good scene because it's very important for the moment for Daniele because he is finally happy to to be himself you know exactly and, yes nice <clears throat> nice and, <clears throat> and was there any scene that you weren't part of you you like watching as a fan okay uh I can say I really like the scene of uh, you know all the kisses, but the kiss between Julio and Diana. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, finally these two opposite characters uh, meet Julio's dream come true. So perhaps Diana is more incredulous uh, than him, mm-hmm. and uh, I found it very romantic can, can we say and sweet as a scene you know so this <laughs> and what do you love most of uh, uh, about playing him like because like like you were saying he's 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 someone who's very nice very very sweet like what do you like most uh, about playing him uh so i can say um, first of all that i love daniele but we are not too similar so i have perhaps the solar being and a characteristic of me since always and of daniele i certainly uh, like the determination 
uh, determination of um, to face anything and the desire to help others and always the strength uh, to overcome problems uh, and uh, more forward. So um, the I cannot say it. <laughs> the um, the strongest um, that he used in all the situation and problems. Uh, I admire all these aspects of, of him. Nice. And during during the show, he he actually plays sports, bas basketball. Now, do you also play? play any sports uh yeah about basketball uh, i learned to move around the on the basketball court in uh, in the week of practice before the start of shooting diary um yeah we me and uh, all the the basketball team uh, yeah. uh, together and it's really a liberating and engaging sport i think but maybe it doesn't do much for me, you know. But I I liked it, and but this doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy basketball, you know, during mm -hmm. the shoot because that was fantastic. I really la laughed, and uh, yeah, it was fantastic. But yeah, I practice uh, hip hop and uh, judo. Wow. Okay, that's that's really awesome. Yeah, two. You can you can think that they are two sports a lot more. Oh my god, <laughs> there are two sports um, very different. You know. Yeah. Mm, yeah but definitely. They are fantastic for me. Wow. Nice. Nice. And. <laughs> A lot of fans love the story with Dan, 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 Daniela and Mir Mirko. And how do you feel about that story and about him, him coming out to Mir Mirko as his, as his first, first crush? Okay. I think that it's, a fantastic friendship story okay so the two guys are so different and the, that they compensate for each other yes. as a characters you know Mirko's shyness is losing it by Daniele uh, for example they need each other um, character so mm -hmm. also uh, with some problems their friendship has given us many surprises and good times so, so yeah. that's a beautiful story for me i liked um, all of the story yeah it, it's it was it was very it was very good to watch too as a fan because yes. Mir mirko starts starts pulling pulling out like he doesn't want to talk to to dan daniela and and then you see him coming back to him and then their their bond as friends seems like it's it's even better now yeah absolutely yes <laughs> i i think so and i think that it's um, it's it's important a lot important to to say that they need each other like um, compensate the characters because uh, Mirko is very shy you know yes. and Daniele is very um, I can say it um, very extroverted can I, can I say it yeah yeah definitely okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah it's uh, it's very very good for for me. Okay, and if they do make season two, like where would you like to see the story go between between your your character and Neat Nico? So, I have to say that I love the figure of Nico because Daniele, 
I think that Daniele needed uh, hit because yeah. it made uh, him feel many new emotions, so real emotions, uh, not only from him. So yeah, but I, I think that the distance could push them away and maybe Daniele will return to some old love, you know? And, uh, but I, I don't know nothing, anything, and, uh, but uh, I, that's an option. Okay, yeah. okay. For me, and, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and how did it feel like you, you had, I, I don't know if it's your, your first time doing a kiss, kiss scene, but you you had two kisses on the show from nico and Mir mirka and um was that was that like your your first time ever ever kissing on camera was was that the first time i can understand <laughs> was that the first time to yeah like when from from all the roles you've had from from doing television film was that oh, the yeah, first that, the first time you ever had like the first time i had um, kissing someone okay. that was, yeah i still remember everything about the day of the scene of the kiss with mirko because yeah. that was a scene uh, um, very important for my character you know um, it was beautiful and we were on the shore of a harbor, I can say it was quite complicated uh, to shot. But Alessandro Celli, our recorder, was very um, close to us. He always uh, believed in us, and there was a strange atmosphere, you know. But we we all worked very hard, and it yeah. was a relief for me to finish it because I left behind one of Daniele's most important scenes, um, and. It was a bit, it was a bit complicated to convey spontaneity in coming out because, um, yeah, it was it was very hard, but I it was very important and I knew it. So I worked a lot with uh, Pietro also, yeah. and uh, before the before the. Um, to begin to to record all the this series in this area uh, we we worked uh, together and it was very important for me it helped me so mm -hmm. we did it and <laughs> finished <laughs> yes nice nice <clears throat> and was there any funny or cool behind the scenes stories that that happened while you were filming the show? Was, uh, so, sorry, <laughs> I, I can't hear. <laughs> oh, sorry. Was, was there any like funny behind the scenes stories that, that happened with you and your friends, your cast while you were filming the show? Funny, you said. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> mm, Yes, absolutely. Yes, I'm thinking to one scene. <laughs> I'm thinking. Uh, so what? What I can can I say to you? <laughs> <laughs> All the scene, but you know the how? How I can I say it? The um, whatever. So I think that one of the most fun field scenes yeah. um, was the. I don't know if I can say the the, the spin the spin the bank you, you know yeah. the <laughs> truth or dare like yes that. yes yeah. yes okay. uh, every every people um, take uh, up and something uh, and uh, we burst out laughing and <laughs> the wrong jokes or elbows. And many of many of us laughs uh, <laughs> was fantastic, and uh, we we um, I can 
I I don't know how to say it. We okay. we take a lot. We took a lot a lot of time to record the scene, but oh, yes. it was very funny. <laughs> <It> <laughs> was, <laughs> we were in Ischia, so in the island of Marina Piccola, yeah. and uh, it was very funny. <laughs> Okay, and you know the show is basically based in the school, high, high, high school, and how how's your time in school like? Okay, um, my school life is very normal. You okay, know, good. Lessons, good. intervals, and break, and. Uh, all the rest, but surely less things happen than from the Galileo Galilei School of Marina Piccola, you know, that's, that's a, that's a film, that's a series, and so I recognize the character of some various characters in my school and in my class, that uh, is, uh, it's true, but uh, yeah, it's a normal, school life with friends with break with lessons marks uh, good marks bad marks uh, <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> but, uh, uh, that in italy the school is very very difficult and but uh, we we do it every day <laughs> every day <laughs> yeah and i also saw like you you do you do dancing too, right? Yeah. What kind? What kind of dance do you do? Uh, what what type? Yeah. Okay, I really like the contemporary dance that I've been practicing from a short time, but it's it is relaxing and fascinating. But I think I prefer hip hop. It's so nice. Weird. It's a great, it's a great story. It it helps you, I can say, to let go and yeah. get the body to talk. It's um, quite difficult to understand, but it's very good. And uh, you know, I did the hip hop tour in New York, in Bronx. Yeah, really. And when I when I came, yes, it, it was fantastic and very good. <laughs> Wow. I love I love the story of the hip hop and the America, and it's very fantastic. Wow. Yes. Okay. And how how was your visit here in New New York? Yeah, it was on twenty eighteen, and um, in the summer of twenty August, I think. It was fantastic. I love America. Yeah, I, I wish I, I live there in the future. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's in all, all in over the world. I think this American dream for all, all of us. You know. Okay. I wish to come there to to do the first um, year of school in America or in Canada. I don't know it, but I wish to do it because he, I think that it's an experience very important that it it can can change your life, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. Experience and learn to to talk English is more is very important, you know. So I wish I I do it. Yes. Oh wow! Okay, okay, and. You also do. I was. I, I. I saw online. Like you. You. You also do martial arts training too, right? Judo. Yeah. Judo, right? Yeah, judo. Wow. Okay. So you know how to grab people and flip, flip them over and all that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, from my point of view. Mm, I I was uh, saying to you before um, they are um, two activities with different aims and results. Um, however, are going to compensate you 
you know, like Mirko and Daniel, <laughs> no, uh, judo helps uh, in self-control, I think. Rigor uh, and the respect for the other person. Uh, yeah. And dance helps us to um, leave ourselves uh, to the thoughts and uh, our moods uh, that we then manifest through the movements. I think that I explain <laughs> it quite good. <laughs> yeah, for me it's uh, this. Nice, nice. And, <clears throat> and what else? What else? What else do you like doing? Like when during during your free free time when you're not when you're not acting or when you're not in school? What else? What else? What else do you like doing? Uh. Mm, so <laughs> I think that mm, I like I said it I, I'm a very simple person you know oh, right. I, I like doing normal life so hanging out with my friends yeah listening to music all things that teens <laughs> so yeah I, I can go ride a bike and uh, dance too at home listen to music uh, stay in call with my friends laugh oh. all these things stay with my family yes <laughs> awesome awesome and what kind of songs do you like listening to Oh. Mm, for some years now I listen to a lot of music of all kinds from the old uh, to the more modern and pop uh, as well as the others and I hang out a lot with my friends and when I when I hang out with my friends we listen to music together and uh, but I don't listen listen singers in particular you know mm -hmm. i love uh rhythmic pop trap music nice. Uh, nice. from any country too and uh for love disco music too is very very good thorax um perhaps the the best time to listen music i think is in the car with art yeah of, definitely Definitely, definitely watching the streets and yes maybe when it's raining fantastic i i, I can say it's fantastic <laughs> nice nice <laughs> and i don't know like i i mean i'm sure that they have it there too in in italy like do you ever do carry karaoke and like what, yeah oh, okay like what song do you like singing when you're doing that but for example only <clears throat> only old italian songs that you maybe you you don't uh, know um, you don't know it but um old songs maybe of 80s you know and fantastic with friends or friendly at the birthday birthday party and i don't yes. know it's like it's very it's very funny and they sing with uh, with people yeah I, I love it okay okay and you know in over here like this is Halloween month, and I don't know if you celebrate Halloween there or not. Do do you do you do you celebrate Halloween? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I, mean. and uh, I love Halloween, but unfortunately, here in Italy, it's not as important and famous as in America. I don't know why, but <laughs> uh, as a child, I had. Uh, a lot of fun dressing up, you know, with my friends. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Record treats, and even now there are many parties, and I can go yeah. to on Halloween uh, and dressing up, but no, like when I was a child, and I love the scary moods uh, no, of nice. the, the period, you know. But we don't. Uh, <clears throat> I can with the. <laughs> I, how do you say? 
we don't um, take and put all that things uh, okay in home in the streets no well it's yeah yeah like that no oh, but okay i i wish that one time i can i can come in america in the Halloween period you know i i i want to see with my eyes and not only in the films but it's very cool as a as a <clears throat> period Halloween yes nice like you say <laughs> you like watching scary scary films too right yes i i i like it what what kind of <laughs> what kind of scary films have you seen so I I don't know <laughs> because I I like uh, old and classical. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, there are so there are many other movies that I liked. I generally like to watch uh, them <clears throat> with friends. It's more yeah, fun. Exactly. I stream together. And yes. I love uh, titles like The Boy. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Paradise Beach of the. Yes. Um, yes. And I like all the the types of horror film. Oh, I like funny horror film like um, oh the the title Scary Movie. Oh I, yeah. I love a lot. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Okay, there you go. <laughs> and what about video games? You are you someone who's big into playing video games, or so I used to play a lot of um, video games, but on the phone, not on the PlayStation. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, like Supercell, uh, video games. Like I don't know if you know Clash Royale mm -hmm. or. Um, uh brawl stars i i don't know if you yeah <laughs> but until a few years i, I go like in um, three or four year, years ago and i had a lot of fun and i was there many hours i spent my money <laughs> to <laughs> okay <laughs> no, not mine but of my parents but I've grown up and I play a lot less, but uh, I like it. Yes, <laughs> not spending money, but uh, only to play. <laughs> and what food do you like eating? Oh, I think I like all the sweet food, cakes, but I think the best food is pasta. I, I think the pasta, pasta yes. that is now a routine for me every day it is the best food because I'm Italian so pasta well, yeah. is very important for me. One one mm, pasta all the day one uh, two the day I, I can, how can I say it? <laughs> um, I have to, to eat pasta <laughs> one time uh, mm, at a day and I eat it I eat uh, pasta um, <clears throat> of all kinds you know I love all kinds of pasta it's a little nice. I think it's come across uh, as a food is uh, fantastic I oh my that. god it's so good it, it is it's <laughs> yeah. so it's so good and you know the pasta with the with the sauce and put some cheese on it and oh, no, yeah. no 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 i don't like so. oh really i think in america uh you put cheese <laughs> how can i say it on all the food you have i know i know yeah they they're they're big on cheese here no. they're like when a uh, little bit portion of cheese it's okay but not mm, no, no, no. Okay, no. okay. <laughs> See, that, that's that's what I heard. Like I heard when when the people here go over to it to Italy to visit, the 
pasta there is so much better than it is here because yeah. they don't they don't overcrowd it with, they, they don't put a lot of cheese or and it's cooked right and like and you have to you have to cook pasta less because it's um it, it has to be a little hard right yeah 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 <laughs> italian secrets yes <laughs> see that that's why i, I want to visit visit over there italy i i i want to i want to eat the food there like i'm gonna eat the pasta and pete and pasta, pasta. pizza and i want to try all that yes <laughs> he's like yes. here we don't uh, eat uh, pizza with pineapple no oh pizza no no i i don't like that no okay no. Yes. No. <laughs> no, no, no fruits on pizza, please. <laughs> yeah, no. Jeez. Oh, okay, let's go. On. Yeah, definitely no pineapple, no fruit on on pizza. That that I don't know why people do that here, but I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. No, definitely not. No. <laughs> So, do you have anything coming up next for you, like any film or TV? Or mm, I don't know yet. I hope many new things, uh, and I want to test myself. You know, identify new characters uh, of different types, uh, and mm -hmm. back on set would be great. And uh, time to time, you know, time to time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And if fans want to follow you, where where can they follow you at? So uh, they can follow me on Instagram, where I show um, what I do during the day, you know, maybe with some simple story, uh, with whom I, I am uh, and uh, what I like, you know, and... Uh, I'm my name is Biagio Nitti. <laughs> I'm on TikTok where I follow trends, you know, and yeah. are even more spontaneously um, all the things. Uh, Biagio Nitti <laughs> with two uh, I, yes, with two I. Fine. <laughs> that. <Okay. laughs> yeah, tick. Tick it, TikTok is very uh, addicting. Like once you look at one video, you, then you keep scrolling, and a lot of time can pass looking looking at it. <laughs> yes, TikTok is is very funny, and <laughs> if you don't have nothing to do, TikTok is it's okay. But <laughs> I I stay on TikTok like for hours, like four or five hours uh, to in one day i i don't know how but the time it's not uh, exist there yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah exactly i know right <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> well i want to thank thank you again so much for taking time out of your night thank I, you, I, i know we tried doing this a couple times and i'm finally happy yeah. to have yeah, have actually spoken too, to you <laughs> me too <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're you're a very nice person and That's and it. you 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 talk very well and thank thank you again for doing this i appreciate hey, thanks thanks for for inviting me and i i have fun <laughs> i have fun <laughs> this part yes Thanks. thank you thank you <laughs> yeah it was really fun talking talking to you okay thanks <laughs> all right buddy have a have a great night and great thanks. rest rest of the weekend thanks bye bye <laughs>